Hi everybody, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some really fun things to share that um, I've collected this weekend. Well, I shouldn't say collected. I, I've purchased this weekend. Um, today is Sunday and it's Mother's Day. So any mothers watching, happy Mother's Day to you. Um, today we went to just like the local flea market in, our, in my town because I wanted to pick up you know, I haven't been there since last summer. I wanted to pick up um, some things if I could. Uh, and also then yesterday, we went to this huge antique flea market that happens three times a year in my state. And it's really fun because um, out in western Massachusetts on Route 20, there's a quarter mile stretch of road that... Um, has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of vendors lined up on each side and then into the fields on each side. So we we actually did the whole area one year and it took two whole days to visit every single booth. But since we've been going there for a while, now I know the areas that I like to go to and the certain vendors I like to go to. So we usually now just day trip it. Oh, and... um if you hear any noise in the background, everybody, it's, you know, pretty nice today and everybody's doing yard work outside. So you hear the blowers and the, all that stuff. So just a disclaimer, there might be noise in the background. So first I have this on my desk. These are all different vintage playing cards that I found. Um, I, I've never seen little miniature vintage playing cards before. I mean, I'm, I know that they probably exist. I just, I just never saw them so that is the um the picture that's on the back but they're so cute because they're so little and they'd be perfect for smaller journals i mean how cute is that it's so teeny tiny i love those so i got those and this is something i've actually never seen and it still has the seal you know those little stamps that come with it um rounds playing cards like, that's really cool. And look, it, it's so vintage. It comes with dust and everything. Oh, gross. But, I mean, look at these. That is so cool. I Maybe I'm the only one, but I've never seen round playing cards before. I mean, it's all the same patterns. But this is actually would be good for, see the gold and all the gears and stuff. Maybe for, like, a steampunk-themed uh, journal or project. So there's those. And then I have these ones, and as you can see, this pack, it was marked, it was a dollar, and it has this, the, oh, you can't even see, <laughs> has the black, uh, not the, the black background with the pink rose. It's very pretty, though. So I got those, and then these are all the double decks. So there's this one, and this is actually not a card game. Uh, it's a card game. I thought it was, um playing cards but it's not it's called the game of authors i guess so there are 44 cards to this game 11 books of four each the object is to obtain complete books by calling for cards from other players so it kind of almost sounds like a go fish kind of in a way but as you can see all the people oops they're authors which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, they're still kind of like vintage playing cards because they're playing a game with them, but um, they're not, you know, like the regular playing cards. But I'm glad I got those anyway. So there's that box there. And then there's this one. And this is cool because these are vintage and they're called... They were Fanfare Plastic Coated Playing Cards, and I'm sure that's just a brand name, but I looked on the back, oops, on the back, and, well, this one was coming off. They still have, they're sealed in the package, and they still have the, um, the little stamp on it, which I thought was really cool. And then there's those two images, which are really, really fun. So there is that. And then the last deck I got, or double deck, was this one. And these are cool. These are birds. But they're gold. One's gold, one's like a teal color. Really fun. Fun and pretty. So those are what I found for vintage playing cards. And I tried to organize everything so it's easy to kind of move on to the next thing. Let's see if that's really going to happen. Um, 
Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, oops, sorry. Uh, I found this. There's actually a bunch of different ones, but I thought the Disneyland one was fun and it's 26 colorful scenes and it is vintage. Um, and so like it opens up and it's kind of like, it gives a little history kind of there, but then different parts of the park. And as I'm opening all this stuff, it smells really vintage. <laughs> you know that vintagey smell, kind of like a library? Um, yeah, that's what it smells like. Yep, it sure does. Oh, and I keep hitting the camera. Sorry about that. Oh, that tucks back into there. So, there's that. And this I'm actually thinking about. I'm not, I don't want to cut it up. I might just, and I'm not really into Disney-themed journals. Um... But I'm, I might just put this in my Etsy for somebody who wants it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure I'm going to do with that. But these were my favorite finds. Well, some of them. These are old ledger books from, I would say, uh, well, this one here, the person wrote in it. It says Westfield, Mass. Has the person's name. Marianne, I think. I'm not sure. Um, October 5th, 1919. And, you know, it's just a ledger book here, but, and there's a few pages, it looks like in the beginning, maybe, that, or one page that got ripped out, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but I love the look of the book. I mean, it's textured. There is some damage, you know, there and there, but I mean, look at the spine. If I can hold it like this, it like, it's set in this way and then it, it's rounded it's just so cool and rounded corners there I mean it's just so awesome I had to pick it up plus it was only a dollar so I'm not sure what I want to do with this yet um because it's just so cool and I don't know if I want to actually cut the pages out and use the cover as a book um like for outside of a journal I haven't thought about it yet I just want to look at it for a while but this one here Look, I, I mean, I don't even know if on camera we'll do a detail. There, this here is raised, this here is raised, raised, raised. And it's just the feel of it, the craftsmanship of this book. It's just amazing, amazing. And the cover really, and besides maybe some like, obviously the patina there, it's not in that bad shape. It's pretty nice. And it says cash. And on the inside, there are some pages missing in the front. But, and there's no, I was wishing that there was some kind of date on it or a notation that somebody marked something and dated it, but there isn't. So I don't know really what time frame it was from, but I'm thinking it's kind of, has to be around the same time as this one, just because they look pretty similar. Um, and they smell really similar. <laughs> <laughs> really old and smelly, but I love that smell. I know it's a little weird, but you know, <laughs> Those, these were my favorite finds. And I mean, even just to put them on my shelf, like they just look so nice. So, so nice. So there's those. Um, then I have a bag here and we'll quickly go through these. Um, I mean, some of them are, you know, obviously I wanted these for crafting. And they're not, I'm sure they're not so vintage. They're probably maybe from the 80s, possibly. But I love the little bows, and they have the little pearl inside the bow. So this, you know, you'll be seeing those in my journals. Um, I got some of these stamps, and they're just random stamps in there. And then, oops, I got some charms. These are stars. I don't know if you can see that and how well you can see. These I can't wait to use. Um, I actually, I paid more than I wanted to for this stuff. I mean, I know it's all vintage and antique, but sometimes, like, I'll, I won't buy it if it's just a little, you know, too pricey. But this one, I did end up paying a dollar for. And people are probably saying, you know, a dollar, that's pretty good. But there's only three butterflies. But look at the butterflies. I can't wait to use these. I almost wish there were more, but I checked her, that lady's whole little booth and there wasn't anything else. So that's okay. And then buttons. Look at all my vintage buttons. I got so many buttons. 
I had my son looking out for buttons for me. So I got these packs here. These came in like little packages. Um, but then I also have some that are still on the cardboard. Which I love, 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 love. And look at that. Eh, it's on sale for five cents. <laughs> buttons, 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 buttons. Oh, and here's another one. I love my buttons. And then here... I got, these are some little butterfly charms. These ones I also had to pay up a little bit for, but <clears throat> these are going somewhere special, so I didn't mind paying for them. So there's uh, three small ones and then three bigger ones. Super cute. And it's like Mother of Pearl Inlay, it looks like, which I don't know if it actually is, but that's what it looks like. So there's those. So let me put this all back. That was fun. Uh, let's see. I got this little bag of goodies, which was kind of funny because it had a bunch of these little squares in it. Um, they're little, I don't know, fabric something or others. Like They look like little oriental rugs, kind of. But that's what was in this baggie. But as I was going around the booth, I was finding other little things. So I just kept putting them in the bag. So, you know, it was just easier to carry. Some lace. And then at the end, um, when I went to go check out with the vendor, I was like, well, how much for this little bag of my treasures I collected here? He was like, ah, a buck. So I was like, okay, I couldn't get that dollar out of my pocket fast enough. <laughs> I mean, obviously, he, he looked at what was in there. He turned it around a couple times, looked. But, you know, it's stuff that just I had to dig through boxes to find. And... Um, I think it was just like small stuff that he really just didn't want to deal with because a lot of the stuff in his booth were really large, nice vintage pieces of furniture and um, Art Deco pieces. And this was probably just like leftover stuff that I don't know where they get them from, estate sales or something that he just didn't really want to deal with. So I got him. And so he got a little couple little charms in there. So that was fun. This was a fun booth to go to. Um... And then I also found this at one, and this was three yards for a dollar, which, you know, that's completely fine. And um, it's that f nice, really crocheted lace that I love. So we have that. And then um, I was surprised by this. I saw this in some on somebody's table, and it has this. I mean, there's not that much of each. So there's this um, trim. There's one underneath that has kind of like an apricot ruffle over this um there's this one here and then there's an, this one here and um you know so i'm just figuring she's going to give me some ridiculous price because everything else in her booth was priced it was really pricey i mean good prices but you know uh, i don't like paying that much for something so i i wanted to ask just in case because i figured she'd probably like you know six seven eight bucks something like that because this is they're all vintage um and she turned it over a couple times she looked at it, she's like yeah i'll give it to you for a buck so hip, there you go there's my buck <laughs> so i love getting deals like that so there's that and then i got a couple of these which were really nice these would look nice on a cover wrapped around and then you know you can always collage over it so these pieces are the same i got those um i actually let me see i got a bunch of different like embroidered i don't know i think they're like napkins maybe or handkerchiefs they're so old and so vintagey but um you know, they'd make good trim if you didn't want to use the whole thing. Because, you know, some, some, like, sometimes, was, especially with really old vintagey things that people find, you know, there's a little bit of discoloration. But, you know what, look at that image here. The little, I think it looks like a bonnet, and this is the lady's arm and her dress. You could really just cut this part out and make it into something. But I thought these were all really nice. This crochet doily. And everything is so old. I just love it. Look at that one. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here's like a... This must come off a bigger piece, I think. But then the lady said, it looks like something that 
people used to put on their armchair, like on the arm of the armchair, and I could see it. So, I mean, that's really, really pretty too. And then some more of the ruffled eyelet. So there's that. Um, I found these cute little, they're like little cards. They're Easter cards. Um, I found, there are four that I found. And I don't really know what's inside them. Haven't opened them yet. So there are those. Those are cute. Let me see. I also did find little bags of beads. Good for making charms and stuff. And some have words. Some, you know, very pretty though. And I guess they're from Italy. I don't know. Who knows what that means. So I have stuff like that. Um, I also, there was somebody selling packages of like all the little rick racks and everything but this one had this which is nice and then it also had a cream color one which I don't have so that was pretty cool and then let me see I think if I'm looking at everything correctly I believe that's the majority of what I got at the antique flea market yesterday I think there might be some more things, but um, there's also some things that I didn't want to show because they are going to um, people. So I didn't want to completely give all the surprises away. Uh, and then this is what I got today at the flea market. Um, some of this is just, you know, this is just note paper, but... I, I like the size, and it's actually pretty thick little note paper, so it would be good for smaller um, journals to put in there, but I liked it. And the thing I like about our flea market is that you kind of can make a little pile, and like they'll just kind of price what the pile is. So I threw that in. Um, and then there I found a whole bunch of these postcards with really cute images on it. There's the angels... And there's no year, I don't think. Oh, well, 97. So they're really not that old. Um, but, I mean, they're cute, cute images on the front. So these are definitely perfect for uh, junk journals. Journals in general. And I think it starts repeating itself. Yeah. So this is one of the papers. These are all the same. Okay, so there was that. And then I also found these and I, I kind of like these um not to use in journals because they also have the it's unopened um cards but as like thank yous thank you notes so this I actually got for myself let me actually put that away in my pile there and then I got some more eyelet trim and that was just all in a big bundle but I always love using this trim so can never have enough of that. This happened to come in my package. I don't know. Oh, they're little, they're little, um, like when you braid your hair for your hair. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> Those are just, they just were stuck in. Oh, and there's another one here. Hmm. And then I found this one, which I was really surprised. And I didn't even look, it has a little tag. Oh, made in China. Well, still pretty though. So there's that. And then this bag originally had all these different little vintage buttons in it. And a big one, actually. Whoa, that's a huge one. Let me just drop something. Oh, there's nothing in that one. Um, but you know how I love my buttons. So, I mean... I will use each and every one of these. Oh, and there, oh, I forgot these two things here. There was this guy that had like a whole bunch of kind of broken watch pieces and everything. I mean, I don't know what people would buy them for, but I said to myself, hmm, some of these little ones, this would almost, and they're, they're small, obviously, you know, they fit in my hand. Um, but I could see that either on the front of a journal or like on a, on the top of a tag or something. So I just picked up these two. I like those. And they're a little vintagey looking. So I got those two. And um, these green buttons are actually really pretty. I don't have anything like that. But with my mermaid journals, these are gonna look really well. I don't, can you even see the color on that? I don't even know, but yeah. 
So those, this is everything that I've gotten for the past couple days. Um, now I have to organize it and kind of put it all where I want it to go. Um, and I started working on my mermaid journals last night and I will continue to work on them until they are finished. So we will see when that is. Um, but happy Mother's Day again to any mothers that are watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.